Hello there and good morning. I foresee even more teddies being ejected from the Macron pram, and this time over fishing. As per usual, please like, subscribe and comment below. And when subscribing, please do press that little bell, but also select the All option, or you won't get any notifications when I publish a new video. Oh, this is going to put a firecracker up Macron's posterior. It's coming out that the UK is refusing loads of French fishing vessels a licence to fish in UK waters. In fact, just about three quarters of applications have been turned down. And this relates to the 6 to 12 mile zone that we should never have allowed in the first place. Under the withdrawal agreement, for some unfathomable reason, we ended up allowing EU fishing vessels access up to 6 nautical miles off our coast. But, and it's a very useful but, we also included in the agreement a clause that says to continue to operate in our waters EU, and therefore French fishing vessel operators, have to prove that they have a history of fishing operations in our waters, including within that 6 to 12 mile zone. Without that proof, no licence. Now when we left the EU, Brussels took great delight in bringing the administrative sledgehammer down on all our dealings with them and all our exports into the EU. Remember the lorry driver ham sandwich fiasco? Well, it seems that when we apply our rules on them, they take another view. These fishing vessel owners have been unable to provide proof of history of fishing in our waters, so we apply the rules, and the bureaucrats in France are suddenly unhappy with bureaucracy being applied. Well, suck it up, mon ami. But it might not just be the UK across the English Channel doing this. The licence issuers in Jersey are also set to issue fewer licences to French fishing vessels too. And look what happened last time a spat happened there. We had dozens of French trawlers trying to block the entrance to St Helier. They are an excitable bunch, aren't they? And I love the BBC headline on this saying, UK risks French anger over fishing permits. And the FT took the same approach as well, saying, UK risks French ire with limits on fishing in coastal waters. No BBC and FT, the UK is just applying the rules that the EU signed up to. Yes, remember, the EU signed up to those rules. If operators apply for a licence and don't qualify, then those that issue the licences are duty bound and legally bound to deny those licences. Or doesn't that apply where the EU is concerned for some obscure reason? The headlines should say, UK applies the rules correctly, France unhappy. Because were the boot on the other foot, the BBC headline would say, EU applies the rules, but the BBC is really happy to report that Boris and his horrible Brexit Tories are really unhappy, wouldn't it? So let's take a look at this from another angle. Now the Northern Ireland Protocol should never have been agreed to by the UK, but the UK government negotiators at the time it was agreed obviously thought that the EU was on the same hymn sheet as the UK and would apply the protocol in a sensitive and balanced manner to maintain the Belfast Agreement. But no, the EU pushed and pushed and demanded, in the face of growing unrest in Northern Ireland, that every single I was dotted and all those T's were crossed. Even that blithering Biden idiot said the same. So when the UK tries to keep the peace in Northern Ireland by being sensible, sensitive and pragmatic, the bureaucrats demand all boxes are ticked, and are surprised when we threaten to use part of the agreement the EU also signed up to, Article 16, to address it. But when there's an agreement that has negative impact on the EU side, we're meant to just unilaterally break the rules for their benefit. No. And it's not about playing politics, it's about applying the rules, is it not? 
and as far as I know, there's no equivalent to Article 16 in the fishing agreement, or I bet the French, backed by Brussels, would have already triggered that months ago. Now under the withdrawal agreement, there is a joint body set up to negotiate these matters. And the co-chairs to that joint body are the EU Commissioner Maros Sefcovic on the EU side, and on our side, Lord David Frost. So good luck with that one, France. No, the French will probably do what they always do, sail their fishing boats to surround Jersey and kick off in the French ports. I'd suggest our exporters deliver their goods destined for the EU via other member state ports for the time being. Here's what the French Sea Minister Annick Girardin said. French fishing must not be taken hostage by the British for political ends. Oh, bless. French fishing is being taken hostage by the rules France and Brussels signed up to, not by anyone's politics. As a spokesman for our Department for the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs said, the UK approach has been reasonable and fully in line with our commitments in the Trade and Cooperation Agreement. Going on to say, as regards the 6 to 12 nautical mile zone, as set out in the Trade and Cooperation Agreement, EU vessels must provide evidence of a track record of fishing activity in those waters. Simples. But our so-called friends and partners within the French government disagree. Just last week, their Europe Affairs Minister, Clement Bone, said that the UK was being unsportsmanlike. What? Us? The UK? We invented sportsmanship. And he also said, We are at the end of our patience. We are continuing our fight. What fight? It's just about filling in some application forms and providing the required historical information, isn't it? Anyway, The Guardian is reporting that out of 47 applications, only 12 will be granted licences, a tad over a quarter. And the FT says that the French government has applied for 87 licences this year and that in the end only 12 will be granted. That's only 14%, just over one in seven. I had no idea that the French approach to bureaucracy was that sloppy. But the French government is trying to deflect from the agreement they signed their fishing sector up to. The EU Affairs Minister Clement Bone told French TV last night, We understand and we share the exasperation of our fishing community because it is simply unacceptable not to respect an agreement that has been signed. We will negotiate until the very last moment to renew some of these permits and obtain some more. And yes, we have been saying at every level, including the President to Prime Minister Johnson, that we cannot cooperate in confidence on other matters until they abide by the Brexit deal they signed. I hope we do not end up in that position, but of course we have said there are retaliatory measures which are possible according to the Brexit agreement. What's all this about they signed? Shouldn't it be we signed? But as ever, when dealing with the European Union and its acolytes in its member states, the rules only operate one way. Never sign an agreement with Brussels, because it will always be used against you. So what's your opinion on French fishing claims? Please like and comment below.